What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be sharing with you these five amazing tips that are going to help you model foundation or wall foundation in Revit. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And follow me on social media, I post there as well and you can share some projects with me and I can uh, feature them on my Instagram account or Facebook account. But anyway, so now let's get started with our five amazing tips for creating foundation. So let's just start the architectural template for uh, this project. You can use structural if you want, I just prefer using the architectural. And I'm just going to be setting the units to meters because that's just something I prefer uh, working in. So just hit OK like that and now we can start working. So the first tip is to always had, have a foundation level set. So for that go to South Elevation, you type in LL for a level and then you can place uh, an additional level over here and let's uh, just uh, let's just go over here and place it kind of like this. Yeah, place it like that. You can double click over here and then you can rename it to maybe and then just hit yes so it, it can change the name over here as well in your floor plans and now you have this foundation level and it should be of course below your level one now let's add some walls and there i'm going to be showing you tip number two so let's go to level one and let's just create a regular basic generic wall kind of place it like that and uh, go into 3D. So this is what we have. So now let's select uh, this whole wall and let's change the levels. So it should start of course uh, from foundation and then it should go up to level two. But uh, usually uh, the foundation wall or the wall that goes from the foundation level all the way to level one or maybe just a little bit above is different than the wall that's going uh, that's above ground and going from level one to level two. So how do you make that change? Well, there are two options and for the tip number two is to use stack, stacked walls. That's the best option. So I'm just going to select uh, all of these walls and then go open up the in the properties tab, open up the uh, drop menu, scroll down, you find the stacked walls and here it's going to do something and it's not going to look right. This is not what you want. So you're going to edit type, you go duplicate and let's just call this my wall and hit OK and now let's go here into edit structure and here for the uh, for the second one, that's the lower one, uh, we're going to change that to some uh, foundation uh, 300 millimeter wall and for the top one let's go with the uh, 200 generic millimeter. Now here for the height for the 200 one, that's the one that's above ground, uh, just leave it at variable and for the foundation one, that's the one that should be underground. As you probably remember, the distance between the foundation level and level one is two meters. But of course, uh, the, uh, the foundation wall should never go only up to level one. It should go just a little bit above. And usually I put 2.3 because as we learned in school, uh, when the rain falls, it kind of bounces of ground uh, at around 30 centimeters or 0.3 meters so to protect your facade from that rain uh, you should extend your uh, foundation uh, wall just a little bit above ground and now you just uh, hit OK and but 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 before OK uh, open up the preview and as you can see over here it's kind of in the middle and I would like this these to be aligned at this line. So here for the offset as this is uh, 200, this is 300. So the difference is 100 millimeters, but of course we need only half of that. So type in here 0 0.05 and as you can see now it aligned to this level and you could flip it around, uh, but uh, I suggest you don't. So just hit OK. Okay, again, and there you go. So now, as, we, as you can see, if I go maybe into south elevation, our foundation wall is now popping out of the ground just a little bit to kind of protect that uh, bottom part of the facade. And we have the foundation wall, and then above that we have our regular wall. Okay, so now let's move on to the next tip, and that's 
adjusting the foundation and placing the, uh, or first, yeah, let's just place and modify the foundation. That's the important part. That's the point of the video. So just, you can orbit around like this and then you can go to structure and you can find wall, open that up. And as you can see, the shortcut is FT for foundation. So just do FT and then you can just select the walls and it will automatically be placing a foundation on those walls. Now you can select this foundation. Let's select all of them. And here you've got uh, a few options and you can either use the bearing foundation or the uh, retaining foundation. I'm just going to leave the bearing foundation for now. And then later we can make some adjustments. Okay, now moving, uh, moving on to the next tip and that's to add a floor to our foundation. So uh, usually you just, we won't leave it like this. Uh, maybe if we have some uh, a level at foundation, how do you add that level or that floor and how do you adjust it with the rest of the model? So just go to the foundation level, uh, zoom in a bit. And if you can't see foundation, if you, and if you can't modify it, uh, you just need to go into VR and just type in, so VR, and then just over here for the view depth, just change this to unlimited, hit apply, okay. And now as you can see, you can see your foundation. And now if you decide to make a change to a wall, as you can see, the, uh, the foundation will follow. So uh, just, I, I, I like to select the foundation and kind of make a little extension beyond the wall and usually try to make it the same distance as you have over here, over here as well. So you can make kind of those uh, little adjustments to, to the wall. Now let's add that floor. So just go to architecture, floor, and for the floor, uh, you can just go like this, create a rectangle from the inside uh, parts of the wall. So not the foundation, the wall. So make sure to connect it to the wall. And of course it might be a good idea to uh, lock everything in place. So if you decide to make any changes, uh, the whole thing will uh, change on its own and you won't be able to, you won't uh, have to make manual changes. So once you finish that, uh, just create a section to be able to view it. So just create a section like that. And once you're here, as you can see, this is your floor. And uh, I'm just going to set this to fine. Uh, and because I'm going to be adding layers to this floor. So usually uh, if this is the floor between the ground and uh, uh, some sort of a room inside of the house, you should have some insulation and you should have some floor finish. So I'm just going to be adding that. And then I'm going to be showing you how to uh, kind of connect everything to create a good foundation detail. So uh, you go over here to structure and uh, then you add a few more uh, layers. Uh, let's move these out of the core boundary because they are not structural uh, elements. And here for the structure, uh, just changes to change this to cast, uh, cast in suit concrete, and then change this one. Uh, let's change that to thermal and add some insulation. So just type in insulation. Let's see what we get. Okay, uh, let's use the pink insulation, my favorite one. <laughs> and yeah, and let's set this to like 15 centimeter or maybe 0.2, that's like 20 centimeters. And uh, let's just set the finish. And for the finish, let's use some wood. Now, of course, uh, this sh you should have a lot more layers. I'm just going to kind of pretend like this is enough for this project just to illustrate how this works. But of course, you would probably going to have a few more uh, layers over here between the ground and your interior of the house. So just hit finish over here, apply, okay. And as you can see, this is what happens. Now you need to connect this differently. So what I like to do is I like to use the align tool. AL is the shortcut. So you just hit here and here. And now as you can see, the concrete is going into the concrete and the, the, the insulation is covering this whole part. And to connect everything, because if I just go here and uncheck 10 lines, it looks really ugly. So now you should go to modify, join, and then make all of these uh, joins over here. So connect all of these elements and now it looks nicer. It has this thick outline and the inside lines look normal. So you do the same thing on this side 
and you would probably need to do another section that uh, that covers the other two walls i'm not going to be doing that because i guess you you, you get the point of how how to do that okay uh, so moving on uh, let's go into 3d and let's sh i'm just going to be showing you now how to adjust these uh, this foundation so when you select the foundation and uh, over here you can see you've got the bearing footing and you've got retaining footing now the difference is of course that one is uh, just for a bearing wall and one is for retaining wall so you can go here into edit type and here you can make some changes so even though this is bearing footing as you can see the difference is in the dimensions so here if you look at the dimensions you've got the width you've got the foundation thickness and you've got uh, the default and ex uh, extension length and that's zero so that's uh, the one like here over here as you can see on the end so that's set at zero but you can set it at 0.3 maybe if that's something you would want but we only got one width element. And here, if I go to this one, as you can see, I've got toe length, uh, heel length, and then we've got foundation thickness. So if I hit apply, as you can see, this changes. So uh, maybe to view it like this, or yeah, let's just go to foundation level. Okay, we can't see it. <laughs> uh, let's go into 3D and let's go into wireframe. Yeah, now you can see it. So as you can see, uh, the foundation, let's set this maybe like that. Yeah, uh, as you can see, the foundation is uh, kind of extends a bit longer uh, here than here. That's because it's kind of working as a retaining wall, but I guess it should be on the other side if all of the ground uh, was over here. So you get the point, that's the retaining one and here is the bearing one. And if you go into edit type, you can actually change this for your structural usage. You can change this from bearing to retaining. And uh, before I end this tutorial, there is uh, one more thing that I would like to explain and I think it's uh, very cool. Uh, as you can see, you've got this do not break at inserts option. So what does that do? Uh, if I cancel out of this and maybe go to foundation level and yeah, let's let's delete this uh, floor for now uh, just because it's getting in the way. Uh, here, as you can see, this is the foundation. And if I go ahead and place a door over here, uh, it's going to be breaking this uh, foundation. But if I select the foundation, go into edit type and check this do not break in inserts, apply. As you can see now, the foundation is going to be continuous and the door uh, isn't really going to uh, mess it up. Let's go back into hidden line. Oops, okay, here's the door and it's not really messing up the foundation. And again, if we select the foundation, go into edit type and uncheck this uh, option, hit apply. Okay, and as you can see now, it's breaking the foundation and messing everything up. So that's something that you uh, that you should keep in mind. And as you can see over here now, as you can see, this is kind of extending a bit. And if I go here into edit type, if I change this to zero and hit apply, it will go only to the to the door where it's cutting the wall. So that's what that parameter uh, default and extrusion length does. Okay, so that's how you do uh, these foundations or wall foundations in Revit. I hope these tips uh, were useful and I hope they make your foundation job uh, a bit easier. So that's pretty much it for uh, this tutorial. If you want to get all of my Revit project files, you can download them at my Patreon, a link, first link in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.